it's the new ride pass okay how does that work okay basically here Tim and I were engaged okay. move a little bit move a little bit see I try to establish control in a way that his leg stays between my legs see that's what I want right from the beginning keep moving see I establish a control here one lapel to kind of keep your shoulder from turning towards me while my other arm is gonna get busy controlling the sleeve, okay? Now, it is important that you understand if you are the one doing the position on top, don't ever overcommit the arm that's pushing the shoulder. The reason why, the knee right happens when you actually slide your knee across and clear, but keep your arm extended, keep, makes you vulnerable to arm bars. See, some guys will fit that space, keep, keep the position there, with the knee, even if they don't have it right away, go back one step. Even if you pass, let's say, which is like within a little bit, the knee right basically is this. The guy throws the hip and eventually slides the foot out, okay? Now, if I have my arm extended, all he needs is to scoot the hip out once he gets his knee on my chest. That's a position that will be hard for me to defend. So if you are the one doing the technique on top, you need to be aware of that last part of the position and keep your arm 90 degree with your elbow heavy against your partner's uh, hip, okay? So we are playing here, let's see how it would work. Just defend the guard, go ahead. See, as soon as I'm here, so make a big step, like a sumo step, go back again. See here, look, big step. And here, I get my knee kind of in between, my elbow in. See that, I have that grip, he's fighting, go ahead. See, I control the arm. So I set the condition now for the pass, which entails, go ahead, getting the knee out, posting the knee on the ground. As I pass my hip, I'll keep my elbow heavy so I can circumvent his uh, legs and eventually clear the legs with my knee. Boom. A lot of times, the technique won't stop here. Because I kind of clear the weight, I will actually add the knee on the stomach. If we initiate a series of attacks that could include, since I have this arm, that makes it hard for him to face me. If you try to go ahead and face me a little bit, go ahead, face, face, face. See, as long as I can lift this arm, I take a lot of his support to rotate this way. As he faces me, he keeps this uh, lapel exposed enough that I can secure it. And eventually, once I let go of that grip, it's a straight shot towards the other lapel, which I first open all the way. I don't try to choke him from here. And once I secure the grip tight, I'll choose to finish him from the side, which sometimes is not as stable. What I mostly do, I'll try as you defend. I'll keep my weight against the floor initially, defend a little bit. So if you try to rotate, it's not as easy. And here, what I'm gonna do is like use my other leg that's close on the ground to kind of beat your arm. It gives me opening to establish the mount control, okay? Once you're on the mount control, just a word of advice. Most chokes will be effective if you post your forehead on the ground first in order to relax your arms and have full leverage to pull. But if you keep your head too close to your partner's head over here, some guys, especially strong guys, they're gonna roll you over, you know, before you know, throw me over to the other side now. Yeah. yeah, right here. It's kind of like he can pick and choose where he wants to roll me. Basically what I'm doing here is, for balance purpose, my forehead will be mobile. So I have double grip, okay? One hand with the four fingers inside, second hand with the thumb. Okay, I always try to dig the forearm under the jaw. Okay, over here. And as he tries to roll me, see how my forehead moves? Keep rolling, keep pushing. Look how much longer I can stay on top just because I moved my forehead, okay? And this is a precious amount of time because the choke doesn't take that long to kick in. You know, in a matter of seconds, he'll be done, okay? Let's go back again. <clears throat> so now here, basically, what we're doing is kind of Try to do a knee bypass strategy. Let's go. Okay. Sumo step. Close the gap. Okay. Control the arm. Okay. 
Move your hip, turn more your hip, keep your elbow in, keep going, keep going. Look how my knee will clear eventually. See my knee here? My knee kind of clears that leg. See that? He's kind of holding my arm here. Keep moving, keep moving. Stretch your arm out, control. Okay? Remember this. Your partner's arm is in this position. I always like to touch on the submission from the side mount as like a, a way for you to have some goal, okay? If the guy's arm points down, okay, keep moving, keep moving. One elbow on the shoulder, the other elbow inside the arm. You see that? Go back again. <clears throat> I want to make sure that when I try to get your arm with this arm alone, I want you to turn. Go ahead. If I try to move this arm, you see I can't. Go back again. I, I want to use this arm to catch the arm. Okay, I'm targeting his opposite arm. So I have to stop him from moving by posting my elbow on his shoulder. Move again. See, I have weight against his shoulder. Now I can afford to get this arm free to circle inside. Okay. A simple submission from here is kind of keeping your head tight, okay, hand on the ground. I really like in this position here to actually put my elbow in front of his stomach. That allows me, if he tries to turn towards me, to kind of like put my weight on his hip, turn, turn. See, it's not as easy. If he tries to actually flat his back on the ground, see, the elbow kind of holds his arm in a way that he kind of gets trapped over there. Your weight, like I said, when you put your elbow in front of the stomach, kind of tilts, tilts slightly to the hip. You don't stay straight, right here. And now you take your time to do a two-step deal. One step, just to kind of establish the angle. Second step, right before you do it, you grab the leg, step a little deeper, and eventually you set the second leg over and fall into an armbar. Okay? So, this could be, besides the knee on the stomach, a nice way for you to complement the knee right pass. I know I'm kind of covering more material than just the defense, but I want the partner on top to be dangerous enough to challenge your defense, okay? Let me touch again uh, on the side mount, and we're gonna go back to the knee right after this. Okay, so I ended up on, on, on the top, and my partner's arm was kind of pointing down, like this angle here. See, he was not here. He was here. Okay, keep moving a little bit. So pin the shoulder, pin the shoulder, regardless of what he does. And you have all the freedom here. Look, I already secured the arm. Once you do that, as he tries to move, you control the arm, put your elbow in front of the stomach, move a little bit. So you keep all that weight there. See how the weight is heavy on the elbow and heavy on the hip? So he's kind of like in a position here, whichever side he wants to roll, he has a lot of pressure, okay? And eventually what I do is one step over the head just to establish the angle, reach out for the leg, which you can grab a thigh, hip level, you know, whichever you can grab, okay? And then one deeper step closer to the belt, okay? One thing I want you to remember this is turn around, turn around, turn around. Also how you work the other leg, okay? Here, the other leg, when I step, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try to actually beat his second arm, how? If I step too wide, he's gonna have that hand to actually reach and block my leg. So as I try to sit, see, my leg is no longer across his face. It gives him the opportunity to roll out of the position, okay? So, just move a bit this way. His arm is pointing down, as we saw earlier. Okay, I'm just pointing down. So here, I don't want to allow him to dig more under my back than what he already got. So keep moving a little bit. Elbow in, against the shoulder. Elbow rotates. Keep control. Elbow right in front of the stomach. Move. Keep weight on the hip. Look, tilt your weight against your shoulder. Okay. And eventually here, one step behind the head. Catch there. Now is the detail of the foot of the other foot, which I want you to pay attention. When I step my second leg deeper, the other foot, I'll try to step and turn my knee out. So as he tries to use the arm, my ankle rides under his elbow. Do you see that? So I actually beat that hand before he was able to use it. And now I'm free to control and extend the arm into an easy you know, arm bar over here, okay? This position is a basic position. 
be yet. Very effective. Usually when you start from the guard, you want to feel comfortable, go ahead and move a little bit. Some, some individuals like to work with double grip, okay? Others like to work with one grip, holding both, uh, go ahead, hold people, holding both lapels while the other one on the belt. You need to have a chest and a hip block. The chest is to create more space so he doesn't reach out for the choke. The hip block is to actually uh, prevent him from attacking my arm. If you ever had a chance to grab my arm here, I'll try to use that push on the hip to give enough room for my elbow to retrieve, okay? Well, here, going back again, go ahead, go. When you stand up, go ahead, pressure, pressure. You see how I kind of circle my leg around his hip? Boom, right here. Now I put my weight there, I circle, and I keep squeezing here. If I want to stand up, you see here how I'm using my back, it's really hard. What you do, you do it like sitting in a chair. You see that? You lower your hip a little bit, and now here, let your hip move forward. Look, yeah, keep holding my collar, keep holding my collar, so I can, yeah. Here, you see, I, it's like, like I'm making his hip sit on my uh, leg, so he doesn't sacrifice too much my base, nor my, see here you turn, shake, shake, shake. Oh. Once opens, he already has the leg control, sumo step, secure the knee, okay, secure the arm, isolate the shoulder, move, 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 move. Foot gets caught in your field, can't kick, kick out, okay, some guys like to use the foot to push, but I feel a lot of times redirection is an easier way, okay. So if uh, for some reason I don't progress here, I try to use my hip or redirect this way first. Okay, now as he tries to defend, I redirect back, boom, and release. Okay, so one more time, if my foot was caught, it cannot progress, keep the pressure, and move the head, move his hip, you see that? And go all the way, and then turn in, boom, kick out. So you go back and forth. Did you notice how his arm is already pointing down? So here, arm is pointing down, so as he defends, elbow on the shoulder, I kind of dig right here. And like I said, he's in a tough spot because if you ever try to do something to defend the arm, he, you'll be like bringing his wrist up. If he does, he falls into the key lock without a fight, okay? So it's really, once I'm here, I want to control his arm here, okay, as he tries to defend right at, Pressure on the shoulder, look, boom, control, elbow in front of the stomach, tilt, move a little bit, no fight. See here the control there? Boom, so you have control, you feel comfortable. So you kind of step behind the head, get a feeling for the hip or the leg. As you get deep with that step, step the second leg and make sure that you circle that elbow, turn your knee out and try to hide that foot inside the elbow. When you're here and the arm is bent, Control your lapel and try to point your elbow to the ceiling. You see that? That usually overruns his resistance. Okay? Very good. Let's figure out some strategies here to stop the knee ride pass. Since we've seen uh, the effects of when the knee rides, go ahead. See, the first thing I do is like, I try to keep my elbows tight. Go ahead, go ahead. This elbow kind of like under the arm a little bit to relieve my shoulder. It is very important in this position that I keep my forearm kind of like buffering his knee. You see that? Whether he has control over my sleeve or not. Uh, the other knee is kind of blocking the hip. Okay, very important. You don't keep the knee below the hip because they can step back. See, and that can create a lot of problem. They can attack your leg or actually pass your guard that way. So when you start the position again, one more time. So as you start, Oh, see, I try to actually block your arm and I keep my feet tight, okay? My other foot, in this case my left one, is gonna hook under his shin, okay? And I kind of squeeze his foot with my ankle of my top leg, the right leg in this case, and the shin keep progressing, go ahead. I can always kind of stretch his leg back with my hook and actually I help with the arm. Okay, in this position here, keep moving, keep moving. As soon as I can, I add the foot on the hip. Go ahead, foot on the hip, and here I immediately try to rebuild my guard, which is I have a foot on the hip, I have the arm control, and we already see familiar uh, techniques over here. Okay, where you push, pull, flip your partner over, okay? 
So as soon as you drag, go again. Go, 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 go. Go, really tight, really tight. Look how my foot is grabbing his ankle here. Look how my arm is trying to slide. Go ahead, go. Despite the fact he has my arm, I start to work with the arm and the leg stretching out, boom. As soon as the leg is in, keep fast. Foot on the hip right away. Foot on the hip, boom. Just me. Now, I don't care if he starts to get posture, get your posture. You have to start working on your partner's legs. You see how I put his posture on check right there? Keep passing the guard, go ahead. Passing the guard. It's not that difficult for you to accomplish that hook once you beat your partner's posture. So we have a hook with a leg drag into the half guard. Okay, start over again one more time. Go, 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 go. This time right now, keep going. Do you see how at this point he overcame my, my uh, position? Go back one more time. And I really want to touch on that because if he backfires, the skate backfires, you still have a window of opportunity to get out of the bottom before he stabilizes. And I'm going to explain to you the key point right now. What happened here as he engaged on the knee right, he had too much of a powerful control here on my arm. I don't know if you guys noticed, I was not able to block his knee. So go back slow motion again on that one. He's going for the position. He got the position there. So what I do as he tries to pass, I put my hand inside his wrist, okay? And as he tries to stabilize, I coil my legs, kick out. I still have the arm here. I don't know if you noticed that. I can get on all fours. And here when you're on all fours, what's really important that you remember is always to move your head back and forth. Don't be a stationary target. As you try to progress into anything, if you move back. See, it's more likely we're gonna stay in a stalemate and both end up on each other's knees from this position. But I was able to avert the side mount because of one little, two little details. One was the arm that he had control of. I opened, stretched out, and I fit my head in between. And second, before I moved my hip, I coiled my legs so I can do what I call like a kick. Okay, I really had to move my hip way far in order to accomplish the rollover, okay? So this is the back backup option in case you have <clears throat> enough pressure on this arm here that prevents you from stopping his knee from going. So as, as he stabilizes, see my head here? You see, see your head right here in between. Look my legs, coiled up. Here as I bump my hip, I'm already rolling. As he tries to control me, he only has one arm. See here? See, I can kind of use my head back and forth uh, in order not to be a stationary target to his back control, okay? But I want to repeat one more time when things go right, because uh, I want you to know a couple of details <clears throat> that will make this position attainable. Over here, more time, Timmy, please, slow motion now. You see, I try to keep my arms coiled enough, go ahead, that I can have, whether he has my sleeve or not, that I have my forearm blocking his knee while I have my other hand kind of covering here, go ahead. See here, I never let his knee progress sliding. It's like a break, go ahead, move, move. Now here, you see, I have that knee pushing the hip. That gives me room for the foot to hook under. See, it's important here now that I don't let go here, because I can start pulling his foot, but it's gonna slip off once he kicks the leg out, and then he's gonna pass. So it's really vital that in this position, once you go ahead, go, you block, excuse me, block, See, you have, you have to push the knee, and whenever you want to hook, push the knee a little bit against the hip, that kind of opens more room. Move your hip if you need. Once you have that hook, see my left foot? You squeeze your right ankle against his foot. That kind of helps drag the position there. And as he passes, go ahead. See, so foot on the hip, start reestablishing your control. If he gets a good posture here for some reason, you start working to spread out that leg. Okay, posture again, one more time. It's not good for me to be here. So all I do is like I put the, hand, the foot on his, inside his thigh. As I make his leg step out, I get there. And here I can adjust, again, once more the position, ankle pick. Move a little bit my foot, push one more time. 
Once I hook, it's pretty easy for me to make that leg go and eventually flip and move. And it's never too much to repeat one more time, again one more time. If your partner ever establishes the advantage from the beginning to the point where this arm is lost, keep going, you try to make sure that you can maneuver the shoulder. Do you see how he's blocking my shoulder here? If I try to turn right now, so I hide this hand, kind of inside here, go ahead. See how I kind of make his arm go? Okay, and as he tries to stay right with my hand, right here, I kind of stretch out, regardless if he has my arm or not. And then he tries to control. I'm on all fours and I have the advantage of having that grip there, okay? So, three elements, once more, so you don't forget it. I don't just want to show you how to avert a possible knee right pass. I want to make sure that if for some reason that happens, you, you can respond without panicking or giving in the, the guard, okay? Time. So we're here. Best case scenario. Go, 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 keep passing. Keep passing. See? Position there. Boom. Worst case scenario. Go, go. Too much control there. Because I have this hand, it makes all the difference in the world. Anytime he tries to circle, go ahead. As I have his arm, see I can either open space or move back and forth. As you see, see I can get into an advantage position or at least a stalemate situation. I wish I could show one counter that would fit all situations. Unfortunately, that's not possible. And with the knee right pass, since I consider that a very powerful uh, guard pass, uh, I need to work a couple more scenarios with you in order to make sure that you feel comfortable enough in that position, whether you have one of the three options at one point in time. When Tim is passing again, one more time, please. <clears throat> what I'll try to accomplish right now is hide this arm as much as I can go. Knee bump underneath, keep going. Chin, chin grip, okay? You see how he's trying to keep the, the weight on me here? So I'm using the knee, okay, to shift his weight forward, and I'll bounce my leg after that to create some momentum for this arm to post on the ground. And as I'm here, I'm gonna work against his knee, just kind of pull the knee and put pressure against his leg. If he stands up, it becomes a single leg position here where I can pull the leg between my legs, or what I often do is I reach out for his second leg and use my shoulder to finish. I don't know if you notice that he has a lapel for the entire time uh, across my neck, and I'm never giving him too much of an aim. I'm really sideways over here. Okay, I don't want, for some reason, if he ever tries to reach me with the other arm to choke me, I don't want to have a straight angle. You see how my shoulder is pushing through his forearm? It's hard to speak with your head like that. <laughs> no, it's okay. But anyways, going back again. So a lot of times, once you want to set that up, you kind of hide your hand behind. Okay, go. And look how my other arm is kind of hiding under my leg here. Go ahead. So I hide here, knee bump. I have the shin grip of a hook-like grip here with my hand. Go ahead. I use the knee bump a little bit. Remember the bouncing? Just to release that arm. Put your hand on the ground. As soon as you're here and you post your knee, you want to see working on his knee to spread his knee out. So you can start putting some weight. I really like to stand up here in this position, like I said. Step behind, okay? You can run the pipe. Boom. Take him down. Make sure he right away. One more time. So basically, the two features here. Imagine you don't have this arm. Your arm is kind of hidden under your body. And imagine that this one is stretched out all the way. That's kind of how you start the position a little bit. Okay, so as soon as the guy gets you in the knee right pass, you kind of hide. You see that there? Hiding, see how my shoulder is moving? Eventually I bump the knee under his hip, 
control the shin, bounce a little bit. See how my shoulder and arm are moving out? Once I'm there, still keep real good pressure of the grip there, control, okay? I like to circle too. Okay. I consider the knee bump always effective if you can protect this arm from being uh, wrapped on. So just finalizing here. Cool. See how sorry. See how I kind of like get his hip on notice over here. The hand is already holding there. Keep going. Bounce, see here, go back and go a step. You see how my arm is kind of stuck over here under his body? I want to pull the arm out. Look my leg here. Kick towards the ceiling. Once it comes down, it brings my shoulder up. I can post, keep going. Pressure on the knee right away. See what I'm saying? Good job. I hope you guys have fun now against the knee right pass.